Hello, Capricorns. It is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in to your November reading. I am taking a look at the month of November for you guys to see what's going on, what's coming in, what you have to look forward to. What can you expect from the energy of November for you? All right. So Capricorns, let's go ahead and take a look. All right. So let's see what's coming through for Capricorns. Big goals, very Capricorn energy here. This says career, business, success, claim your place in the world, okay? So you're on a mission in November, crossroads, all right? This says divergent paths, choices, confusion, follow your intuition. I feel like you could be overwhelmed with good choices, with good news, good things, and you have to choose one or choose a few. You can't choose them all, something like that. But release. It says loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. So yeah, this feels like a really good reading for you guys because I'm getting the energy of kind of like seven of cups, nine of cups. There's a lot of wish fulfillment at your feet in November and you you kind of you have to choose right um it's something about uh you know really using your intuition to to make a decision on which path is best for you but they all could be you know so you could really just be at a crossroads in the month of November when it comes to like business when it comes to opportunities when it comes to love because you're like it all looks good you know this person is great and qualified to be with me this person is this job promotion looks great that job promotion looks great so i just feel like there's something here about you not needing to stress too much as you might do if you're overwhelmed in November, but not stress too much over the opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. So big goals. I feel like there could definitely be some big opportunities um, in your career. Everything from a promotion to a raise, uh, moving to a new job, um, getting a better job, starting a business. I feel like whatever this is, you have made your mark or you are starting to make your mark in November. So you're becoming, I feel like it's going to be a month for you to like begin a path of like more success and more abundance. You could be definitely starting a new venture that feels like it's going to be successful. Okay. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're moving on because I feel like your goals are taking you somewhere. Your goals are taking you where you want to go. So it's kind of like things are flowing, especially in a, a career or financial sense. It feels like things are you're flowing with it or they're flowing to you. OK, you do have big plans. You are strategizing in some way with the two of, two of wands at the bottom. You definitely could be at a crossroads about travel or be at a crossroads about whether to move or travel. So there's something here about you have a goal of moving. You have a goal of um, moving forward, moving on from the past. Uh, starting a new life for some of you, starting a new career, investing in another career. So there's just like a lot of big things happening. I feel you're like at peace knowing you've worked really hard to get to this place where things are flowing. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Look, you feel like you are really happy with where things are going in your life in November, okay? A lot of you have already planted really important seeds that feel like they are starting to manifest and are starting to really reveal themselves to be the opportunities that you want. Some of you have a house goal or some of you are moving. Even if it's not November, like I said, that seed is planted in November or you start the process in November. But there is something about moving to a new home this can also be moving to a place of better fulfillment. Some of you are moving um, on in your life as far as like getting married or getting engaged or uh, extending your family, whatever that means for you. So a lot of you are moving in a positive direction and you're very happy about it. I feel like you're checking off like the goals. OK, I did that, did that, did that. Now I'm doing this. The four of cups. And I do feel like this is kind of that energy of feeling overwhelmed because I feel like you could even forget like all the opportunities in front of you because there are so many. Sometimes that's like the four cups energy where you're not seeing new opportunities and bigger opportunities because you're like, 
I I I'm already have opportunities or nothing is really, you know, standing out to me. So I'm going to reject or deny things. So there's definitely something here about you guys accomplishing some goals. You really may not be interested in anything that sort of like sneaks up on you or surprises you. I have a Knight of Cups at the bottom. So if you're really happy and you're where you want to be in life, you may be turning somebody down, right? You may be like romantically invested in somebody and there's another person that feels like they want to um, take you out and, and you may not be interested. I also feel like there's something here about a love interest um, helping you make some of these dreams come true here. Show me the four of cups. You guys are leaving the past behind. I could tell you that. Yeah. Cause you have hope in a new beginning, the star, and then at the bottom, the eight of cups. I do feel like you're leaving the past behind because it does feel like there's something you can move on from freely. You're like, I'm no longer holding on to this. I don't care about this anymore, or I'm no longer impacted by this. I am healing. Okay. Some of you don't even realize that you've healed from something in November. It's kind of that energy of you're so happy. You forgot that that you got your heart broken a month ago. You're so fulfilled that you forgot somebody didn't call you back. Like your blessings are bigger than, um, your blessings are huge in the month of November. And I feel like there's something about, um, you don't even see them coming. The four of cups, the star, uh, you may feel a little disconnected from like, healing and, and hope and faith, but that doesn't mean things are still not happening for you. They are. You just may not be realizing it for some of you. And like I said, a lot of you are moving on from the past. You're not investing in things that didn't bring you happiness. So crossroads. All right. So this says divergent paths, choices, confusion, follow your intuition. You have big opportunities and you do have to make a choice. It's Queen of Swords. And I feel like there's something about reviewing contracts, documents, decisions very thoroughly in the month of November. Okay, you can have somebody advising you too. An air sign, Aquarius is strong in this reading. Also Libra, Gemini, so Eight of Wands. So yeah, I feel like there's something you're communicating Um you're very vocal and confident in November. You could be online communicating about your, you know, your decisions, your path. Uh, you could be documenting something important to you, like your moving process. Okay. Some of you could set up like um, some sort of plot. You could have a platform and you're like, okay, I'm going to start recording myself or I'm going to start a podcast. You're definitely giving off clear thoughts and insight in this energy word is traveling too about you yeah there's your energy uh queen of pentacles where is traveling about you capricorns i feel like good news is traveling about you you could definitely be working alongside um an air sign libra gemini aquarius or another earth sign capricorn uh taurus virgo but i do feel like this is like a good team or a good match or something also i feel like somebody's smart Somebody grounded, somebody who makes good decisions is helping you make some type of decision when it comes to an important path in your life. OK, you could also be, again, seeking that insight from a professional, however that resonates for you. You guys feel like you are moving, <laughs> you know, very strongly, very uh, moving into like independence and luxury uh, financial, more financial abundance, but definitely financial abundance, temperance. Something is uh, taking time, but it's happening. There's travel indicated in November for you. Some of you are becoming like a really successful um, business person. Okay. There's something here about your business building over time. Like I said, some of you are planting a really important financial seed in the month of November. So that is going to take off over time. And for some of you, as early as Sagittarius and Capricorn season, which is like the next two, three months. So I definitely feel like there is energy of you guys um, moving forward smoothly with your plans. Okay. You're talking to someone too, 
who brings you peace. I feel like there could be a, fem a feminine energy in your life that brings you a lot of clarity and peace and helps you sort through things. That could be a friend, a sibling, a parent, but it is somebody who helps you maintain the faith in your path. Okay. So release. This says loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt. So let's see why that's here for Capricorns. Three of Pentacles. I feel like this is saying, let somebody help you. Some of you, um, you definitely feel like you could be moving forward in a relationship, but this could be something that feels a little bit new to you. Like I'm used to doing things on my own. I'm used to handling bills. I'm used to handling myself. I'm used to handling everything on my own. I really don't know how to adapt, right? You're being asked to like adapt and collaborate and work with somebody in a team. I already feel like you're in some type of team situation anyway. Family stuff may be something you're not interested in though. I'm just picking that up. There could be something about you um kind of bored with like family things. It's kind of giving the energy of, yeah, I'm not going to go to anybody else's home for the holidays. I'm going to do my own thing. It's kind of giving that type of vibe too. So the world. Yeah, I feel like somebody is helping you for sure. And I feel like November. This person like offers you like a good opportunity to start over in some way. Or they help you start over in the hangman. This is release, you know, that's hangman energy release and then the hangman so um you're detaching from something you don't want to work with something anymore yep you're letting it go you're surrendering something show me the hangman pisces energy the magician for sure you're surrendering something because you're manifesting something better yeah you're letting go in order to receive more I also feel like there's some type of team thing that ends in November, whatever that means for you. It's like, okay, we finished our project and I'm on my own or I'm back, you know, doing what I want to do. So something does help propel you. Something does help you see things from a new perspective and something also helps you, you know, establish your power. Okay. So something you've been doing, working on, involved in, it made you more powerful. And I do feel like in the month of November, these big goals you have are able to like really thrive because you made the necessary sacrifices and your manifestations are coming to life. Okay. So Capricorn, that is what I have for you. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, check out the link in the description box.